Welcome back to the world today. The Iraqi Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki says he's happy about Syrian airstrikes on ISIS militants at the border crossing between Iraq and Syria. Analysts believe the strikes show a merger of conflicts between the two countries, which is quite understandable because ISIS militants are fighting governments on both sides. Iraq is also receiving help from neighboring Iran, with whom its Shia Muslim leaders have close ties. The airstrikes come just as the Iraqi Prime Minister again said this week that Iraq welcomed any strikes on the ISIS militants. Prime Minister al-Maliki said Syrian fighter jets bombed militants' positions around the border town of Qiyam on Tuesday. Iraq's army has been struggling to contain ISIS advances from the north and west. They do not seem to have much firepower against the militants and have been soliciting help. The United States has suggested that Iraq form a new, more inclusive government that would promote regional unity, which would in turn curb the insurgents. But Mr. Al Maliki has rejected the suggestion. He said forming a board emergency government would go against the result of April's parliamentary elections, which were won by his alliance of Shia parties. Western leaders have been trying to convince him on the way forward. Early in the week, United States Secretary of State John Kerry made a brief stop in Iraq during his Middle East tour. He met with the country's Kurdish leaders who said they were willing to help the government. British Prime Minister William Hague is now in Baghdad to meet political and community leaders. But the US and UK and Iran are not the only countries intervening. Russian President Vladimir Putin reportedly discussed the issue with Mr. Al-Maliki by phone last Friday, confirmed his full support of the government's effort to rid Iraq of terrorists. While the crisis continues, the turnout of refugees continues to grow. Several thousands have been arriving at a refugee camp near Erbil in the Kurdish controls part of the country, complaining of worsening living condition in Mosul, Iraq's second largest city. <laughs> Some of them said that in addition to the danger of fighting between government forces and supporters of the Islamic State in Iraq and Levant had wiped out business activities, depriving people of their livelihoods. ISIL militants have been sweeping through most of Iraq, taking over cities, each and towards the capital, Baghdad. They are already in control of major border points with Syria. Sadly, ISIL also controls a large part of eastern Syria, where it has both clashed with rival rebel groups and occasionally fought alongside them. 